Hi guys, I'm back with day two of the 12 days of Halloween and I am back with a witch's potions cabinet. As you can see from the outside, it's pretty small. It measures four by six. Um, and I will get into how I constructed this in a little bit, but the idea came from originally from an Instagram called Solar 10. She is a uh, paper crafter on Instagram and I saw it on Christy and Adventures um, YouTube channel. So I will link both of those in the description box down below if you would like to take a look at their work as well. Um, I just modified it a little bit to make this witch's potions cabinet, but the original, um, they call it a crafter's organ organizer. Um, I'll be making and showing you guys next week as a part of next week's videos. Um, it will be a Harry Potter theme one. So, um, but for now, let's get into this one. So, like I said, it measures four by six. I used two um, wooden um, unfinished, I want to say they're wooden trays. They're in the, like wood, they're in the craft department of Dollar Tree at the bottom. So I just used two of those. I painted them black. And then I used the duct tape that Dollar Tree now carries in lots of colors. So I just used black and I used four strips of black duct tape to hold this together. Um, and then I used for the decorative part of the box itself. This paper is from the Voodoo collection um, by Die Cuts with a View. I have their 12 by 12. So I use that and it is a really nice paper pad. Um, so I use that and then I distress all the edges with Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Black. Um, this paper is from as well and this is this basic black cardstock that I had in my stash. This was a cutout that I cut out, popped it up on foam tape and then attached it. This little black spider right here is from um, a bag of like spiders and pumpkins that I got um, a little while ago at Michael's. And this is what the bag looks like. Here is the top. The bottom, I did not put any paper because it's meant to stand up on its own as you can see. And I didn't want the paper to get all messed up, so that's why. Um, also, another thing about these unfinished boxes, please um, be aware that you may have to sand them down a little bit. Or, um, even though they're 4 by 6 they are a little uneven. So what I had to do was line the two boxes up on its side like this, then tape them together with the um, black duct tape. And then I use a magnetic closure to close it so it holds on its own, it doesn't pop open. That is an option, but I liked mine to be the stuff in the inside to be secure, so I used a magnet closure. You can buy magnets on eBay is where I get mine, or you can get them from Amazon. I made little decorative drawer pulls. You hold it, pull it apart like this, but I just wanted something on the side, so I used two jump rings that were in my stash. I hot glued them down. These are just two decorative beads that I got from Joann's a very long time ago, and I used those. These are just two black rhinestones that I hot glued on the top. Um, I got these little black rhinestones in a pack that was black, orange, and clear from Michael's last year. And like I said, I distressed all of the edges with Tim Holtz Black Distress Ink. As you can see in here, there are the magnet closures right there. I did try to paint them, but because they're magnets and they see lots of action, they will start to pale, but they also lend themselves quite wonderfully to the vibe of the potions cabinet itself, so I really don't mind it. So let's get into the, see if I can get in a little closer, there we go, the contents. So the back sheet here is also with Distress Ink and that is from the Hard Haunted Harvest, that is a tongue twister, I'll say it again for you guys, the Haunted Harvest Paper Collection by Die Cuts with the View. So um, I had the 12 by 12 in both the Voodoo and the Haunted Harvest and I just cut this down, um, did some Distress Ink along the edges just to fit inside. Each shelf is um, black foam that I picked up from um, I want to say Michaels because it's been in my stash for a very long time and I just cut it down the insides of these little boxes they measure um, about three and a quarter so that's what I cut them down to and then I just measured the depth which is I want to say three quarters of an inch so I just made them that wide I cut them down I used hot glue to glue them in 
and then I just cut strips of paper from the Voodoo collection and then cut them down to I want to say um, a quarter of an inch because they were a little bit bigger than an eighth. So maybe three sixteenths, it's either three sixteenths or a quarter of an inch wide and I just use hot glue to glue them down. Um, I didn't want the same number of shelves on both sides so I made it uneven. So this one has two shelves and this one has three. Um, we'll start with this side first. This is a glow in the dark skull from a bag of skulls that I got from Michaels. So if this is sitting on your shelf at night and you have it open, this little cute little skull will glow in the dark and I just thought that was a really cute nice little thing these two pumpkins here and here were from a pack that i got from michael's um you know michael's miniature section every season they have their little miniatures that they come out with so it was in a pack of four so i just put one here one here um the potion bottles they came from a few different places these here and i think those were the only ones these came from the Dollar Tree, these little cute amber color ones. I got those from Joann's and I got these from Joann's as well. Um, in the paper crafting section where Tim Holtz products are, these were these these bottles are made by Tim Holtz. So that's where I got them from. This little larger bottle right here, I got them from the pack of Dollar Tree and I think they were a pack of six. So back on this side, so in each of the bottles, I feel different color glitter. Um, that was just my preference choice because that's what I had on hand. You could also use um, dry flowers, anything little miniature that will fit inside those little bottles you could use. So that's what this sh shelf is. The second shelf, there is some white glitter and these stickers came with the Tim Holtz bottles here. So I just used some of those. So that's a Dollar Tree bottle. This is a Tim Holtz bottle. I used some of that wispy spider web fabric that you get from the Dollar Tree and Michaels and all those other places during this time of the year. And let me flip it up so you can see there is a little black plastic spider that I've had for a pack from last year from Michaels. Right here in the corner, there is a little metal skull that was in my stash that I've had for probably over a year. And then at the bottom, there were these um, foam popped up stickers I got from Michaels last year so I put one right here this is another bottle with some more glitter and another Tim Holtz bottle on this side and then on this side this little crystal ball here that was in my stash but I can tell you I got it from Michaels last year here is another little bottle and I use black um, this black glitter mix that I got from Joann's that has little stars in it as well and then this is an actual bead that I picked up from Joann's in their jewelry department. So I just cut it, like clipped it down and then cause it came on a ring of them to put it here. So it looks like a little crystal potions bottle. Um, on the second shelf, there are two more potions bottles, another one of those stickers from Michaels. And then I have these bones that I picked up from Michaels last year. Um, they're plastic and then I just glued them down. On the third shelf, once again, is that pumpkin. There's another one of those beads, which you can see right here, and it makes an excellent potions bottle. And then here is another bottle that I got from Dollar Tree. And then this sequence mix that I picked up from Target in their Target Dollar Spot section. And then on the bottom, it's just some more of that wispy cobweb material. And then there's a key right here that I glued down. And um, that was in my stash, a bag of keys that I used for an Alice in Wonderland project last year. And I got those from Amazon. And then as you can see here in the middle, I also used another strip of that duct tape. And that duct tape is really shiny and I wanted it matte. So when I painted the whole entire inside, I painted right over the duct tape and the paint holds the duct tape as you can see. So I did that for the front and the back. And um, that's it for this little crafty project here, guys. Um, the link for this project because I will be selling it in my Etsy shop will be in the description box down below as well. There is only one. So when it's gone, it's gone. Um, the majority of my projects that I'm making for the 12 days of Halloween will be for sale in my Etsy shop as these videos come up. So I would check back daily or every other day um, to see what is available. So until tomorrow, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.